Hello, in this video I'm going to teach you how to use window clings, not just for your windows, but to make DIY home decor. Stuff like this, your own kitchen canisters, your own plates and cups. and candles, etc. and let's get to it. Here's a sample of my window clings that I did last year for Valentine's. Here's a list of materials you need. I actually did this video in just music and was just asked to explain how I did everything, so that's what I'm going to do. So here I have some Dollar Tree canisters. I bought like five of them, but I'm not going to show you all five. I'm just going to demonstrate two. Then I have this Dollar Tree ribbon. The pink burlap ribbon that they sell, which I love. And I'm just going to cut that in half. into strips so I can cut and then hot glue it along the edge of my lid and we're going to decorate our lids you can use anything you like this is just how I decided to do my Valentine's decor last year and my window clings are still sticking to it and I just used the um uh, I went blank the alcohol and here I have another type of ribbon I got from Dollar Tree this adorable little heart ribbon so I'm gonna add that on too on the same seam it's on the back you can do these for any different holidays for any decor in your kitchen or your bathroom or even in your beauty supply room it's up to you of where you want to put them, how you want to decorate them. I'm just showing you examples of how to do different canisters and using Dollar Tree items and how I decorated them. They're so cheap, so I just started making them for each holiday. So grab these at canisters whenever you see them at Dollar Tree, which I still do. Here I have some these little Valentine's hearts and these little glitter hearts they had in the bag at Dollar Tree and I have two different size jars. So these are ornaments, so I'm just going to take the cap off, and I'm going to take a little clear pony bead. But you can get pony beads at the Dollar Tree. And I'm using the pony bead so my heart will stand up. And you want to hold that in place a few minutes so it will not fall over. And then I'm going to repeat the same process on this lid. If you're new to my channel, welcome. If you're one of my subscribers, welcome back. Please consider subscribing and joining my crafting family.
at that. Here I have little crystal knob, but they also sell little crystals in a Dollar Tree, as you know. So I'm just going to glue that into the top where the hanger was on this ornament. But I also want to hide that ornament piece. So I'm going to take some of these little flowers that I have in my stash that I've gotten years ago at Joanne Fabrics in the wedding section. I'm sure you can get them at any craft store. I have never looked. But I always like these little flowers to decorate little details with. So I have the roses and I have these little white ones that are different types of flowers and little I guess like beads on them. And I'm just going to decorate my top a little. Just to hide the ornament pieces sticking out. Now you see I ripped that bead off because it was crooked. I recommend holding it longer to your glue really sets. Now we're going to do the same thing to this one as we just did to the very first one. And I apologize if I go in and out of frame. This was when I first started doing YouTube. And I was actually filming from the right side. And when I bring the object to my face to look at it. It doesn't, it goes out of frame. And actually the video was super tiny, so I'm glad I'm redoing this video. So we're just going to repeat the same process, add the little flowers on. See, I don't know what you call them little pearly like things. I just add some little flower, some um, pearly things that come on to pick. Then I had these little folk little hearts from Dollar Tree. So I decided to add them one to hide the pony bead and to give it some more detail. 
thought was super cute like this. They came in different colors. So I did three different colors. Now you can do this permanent or temporary. If you do it permanent, Besides using the hot glue, I would do E6000 also. And then I would use Mod Podge for to make your decals stay permanent, which I will show you later on that I did on another DIY. Then I had these other little flowers that had like some little tool mixed in it. So I added that in between the two little hearts to make it super adorable. As I said, decorate the top as you desire. I'm just here to give you inspiration and ideas of how other ways you can use your window cling. I actually love decorating with window clings. You can get some really pretty ones. Especially off of Amazon. Which is where I got some of mine later on. These ones I got at Dollar Tree last year. I did get some really pretty ones this year for Valentine's. I just never added into a video yet which I might add it into the end of this video now that I have to redo it over well I don't have to I volunteer so I recommend clean your glass with rubbing alcohol and decorate as you desire with your window cleans Make sure you put your top on so you know where exactly to put your window, window clean so they're straight. And as you say, as I continue, I will add more and change my mind. It's actually really, really fun decorating with window clings. You can add them on photo frames for a picture. Which I did do it on another one of my videos. I did it on some wood blocks. You can add window cleans I have found to anything, anything. There's been nothing that I haven't found that you can't add window cleans to. With either some rubbing alcohol or some dishwasher safe Mod Podge if it's going to get wet. If it's not going to get wet, some regular Mod Podge. But... I don't know how regular Mod Podge will dry, so I recommend a dishwasher safe one. I know that one dries clear. So I just added more hearts on to them, and then I have two done. But I'm not going to spare the time of decorating all five of my canisters, but you will see the final reveal here. And here's what it looked like last year at Valentine's in my kitchen. I did a little hot cocoa bar with some Valentine's candy. And some marshmallows. Super cute and festive.
and didn't cost much at all. Now I'm going to show you how I did my wing window clean dishes this year. I used two white plates and two white mugs from Dollar Tree. I got these window cleans off of Amazon. They actually match my Easter decor that I bought of tablecloth, placemat, table runners, kitchen towels. So I had to make some dishes. In order to make your dishes stand up, you just get them little clear easels from the Dollar Tree, or set these on your hut. And the same thing, we're just going to clean it with rubbing alcohol and decorate it. Since mine held up so well, just leave them with the rubbing alcohol, I did not go and make this permanent. Because what if I just want to alternate it out for different holidays and not keep buying cups and mugs? That's your decision, your choice. But if you decide not to, Mod Podge it on, then just save your little... Actually, you don't need to save your backing. You just take some um, wax paper and a little baggie and stick it in a baggie. Save it for the next year. This idea hit me this year when I saw these great square plates in the Dollar Tree and that were white and these super large coffee mugs and I knew I had to do this DIY. I absolutely love them. I actually brought four plates because I want to do two and four cups because I wanted to do two for Valentine. Now I recommend only use this for home decor, not to eat on, even if you mod podge them. for decorating purposes only. See then I made these adorable little coffee mugs to match. And as you see here, I got two different types of Easter ones this year. So I'm going to do both. And here's the final review on what it looks like. Loving it. Now let's do some Easter canisters. And this is the ones we're going to do. Two different styles. And first we're going to start with making our canister toppers. There's our supplies we need. So I'm painting them in an off-white color, a taupe color, and granite gray from Apple Barrel.
that's the three colors I used this year for my farmhouse. And for my farmhouse canister. Again, I'm just giving you ideas and inspiration. You can design and decorate them any way you like. And then I have these big natural looking wooden beads I've had in my stash. I think they're 25 millimeters. And I'm just using a wooden skewer and cutting it. And taking some Elmer glue and just gluing it into the hole of the bead. Oh no, I'm not taking Elmer glue. I apologize. I'm using hot glue. So you want to make sure your little sticks stay straight while the hot glue is settling in and cooling off. Now I have some of this ribbon from Dollar Tree, the black and white gigum, and I'm just going to make a little bow. Now these bunnies, I got a big set off of Amazon, but you know Dollar Tree sells wooden cutout bunnies. Then I have for my stash, these are, um, the paper fasteners, little brads that you use for scrapbooking, but you can buy a pack of paper fasteners, fasteners at Dollar Tree and just paint them, and I'm using them for buttons, or you can just use a little button, and I'm just making some little bows out of the twine. So the one that of white color, which is antique white, I'm adding a little brown paper fastener on it. And then the and uh, the granite gray, I had uh, a tan fastener on it with twine. And then the little brown bunny, I just add a little black button. And I'm going to decorate my other two little bunnies to match my pink little decor that I did. So I'm just taking some little ribbon that I had from Joanne Fabrics from back in the day. And get make it a little collar. And I'm going to take some of my little spring flowers. And a little bit of greenery. The spring flowers that you just saw, I just got this past year at the Dollar General for nine, $2 for that big bundle, and it goes a long way. And then these other flowers I had in my stash. Again, you can add any little pink and white flowers you have in greenery. Decorate any way you want. I just wanted to match the plates and the cups that we just did. So I'm pulling out some more of my little flowers and adding some little pink roses. And we're going to do the same thing in this bunny. Just give it a pretty little decorative collar. So I recommend always saving all your little pieces and all your little scraps because you never know when you're going to need them, especially for a project this tiny. Even if you throw all your little scraps in a Ziploc baggie. Every little leaf and all counts.
I even save the greenery to all my picks. Cause you, they come in handy. Then I'm just gonna hot glue them onto the back of the wooden down that I add into the beads. So now I got some cute little Easter toppers made for my canisters and as you see I'm doing five and no they didn't stand up but if you I think if you would add some hot glue and press it down onto some wax paper it would stand out fine if you want to do something like that for a tear tray so we're going to take our canisters again from the dollar tree This time we're going to do three of them because I did three bunnies. One antique white, one in the beige color, and one in the granite gray. And I got this huge packet of window cleaning, like 10 sheets for $5 off of Amazon. Way better deal than Dollar Tree. Or anywhere you can go. And look how adorable they are. I will be for now on buying my window cranes and dollar I mean um off of Amazon. So like the ones you saw me do for Valentine's, I will really be redoing them. So I'm glad they're not permanent. And I'm not doing these permanent either. And here I will show you. You see how the bunny ear is going over. We're not going to leave it that way because it'll be in a way when you take your lid on and all. So I'm going to show you how the proper way of cutting it. When we get to that, I'm going to show you the do and don't. So I'm just adding more to it. I found, I found some little tiny eggs. So she had eggs in her little basket. Now I recommend do it this way. Take a marker and just line it all along your jar to cut your window clean and then put it back on I tried to cheat later on and it did not work so do it this way I'd rather cut the grass off than to cut any part of my little bunny. Because they're like baby bunnies. They're so cute. I add a little butterfly to it. And I just keep decorating them. It's so fun. And if they're too big, who cares? You can cut them. And here's the one that was really big. And it has a little banner. So that I could cut. Because that, who cared. Now here's where you don't do. I cut along the bottom of the jar. And guess what? It was all jaggedy. I had to take it off and cut it straight anyhow. So this is the don't way. Take your little marker and line it. And then cut it. So then you got your little window cranes on and we're just going to hot glue our little toppers on top.
Then I have this little ribbon I got from the Dollar Tree. I want to add some more detail to a little wooden bead. So I just wrap that around. This little burlap ribbon. Give it some more detail and make it super cute. And then I, I was going to add a paper fastener but I changed my mind because it didn't look right. So I recommend just leaving it as that. But, like I said, you can decorate any way you want. I'm just giving you inspiration and ideas. That's what makes me happy and I enjoy doing. I really love these Dollar Tree canisters. So now we're going to make some window clean coasters. Now I have my four coasters here. I have some cork board backings that I bought off of Amazon, but you know Dollar Tree sells cork board. And I have rubber door stoppers, but Dollar Tree also sells little rubber door stoppers. Door stoppers are for like your kitchen cabinet. You don't have to add them, you don't want to, you can just leave it with the cork board. But I went extra. And these tiles, I got a huge case at, um, you know, like Home Depot or Lowe's for $5. So we're going to do the same process, clean our product with rubbing alcohol, and pick out our window cleans. And I'm going to use Mod Pod Dishwasher Safe. Now it takes 28 days for this Mod Pod to fully cure. Yes, I didn't have to do this process if I didn't care my window cleaning and all came up. If I used these as coasters, but this is. I wanted them to be permanent. I'm just taking out of that big old packet and picking out exactly what I want. And I was sticking with the farmhouse style. Like this one, a cute little basket of flowers. I'm just adding some cute little Easter eggs around it. Just have fun and decorate them. I'm sure I'll find many other uses for window clings. This is just the ones I've come up with so far. I mean, they're perfect. It's like a sticker, but glasses because it's made out of plastic. Now we're going to do different type of Easter canisters and the coasters to match my other set I did. And yes, I know, I did not notice that that canister lid was dented. I'm so mad. So please check your stuff. See, they're sneaky. It was covered with plastic. And then I'm just going to hot glue my little wooden topper that I made. Add 
add some little extra flowers to it. Super easy and cute. Now we're going to decorate our coaster. Using the same window clings as I use to just decorate the canisters. Just as it didn't come with many bunnies this set, but that's okay. Then I'm going to decorate this canister. Just picking out what window clings I want. And glue my toppers on. And here's how they turned out. This is the other set I did. The two sets this year. I'm like loving this whole decal, window clean detail that you can do. Oh, and I did add a couple of little flowers on the wooden beads. of the window clings and I just modge pause them on now we're going to make some window cling candles from the Dollar Tree here I have two cute little candles and I'm going to use the same window clings I've been using I didn't do these permanent either, but you can with the Mod Pods. I just removed the plastic wrapper that was on them. Cleaned them with the rubbing alcohol. And decide what window cleans I want to add to them. Now the fun part, let's decorate. You can do this with any type of devoted candles from the Dollar Tree. Anything, glass, plastic, wood. You can decorate. Which I will demonstrate later in this video other items you can use. I would assume paper too, like if you're doing scrapbooking. And making cards. Why not? Just like a die cut. It's just this plastic. Boy, that would make some beautiful cards. Think about it. But all you could make. Hey, and just think you can decorate your appliances too if you wanted to. So window cleans are not just for your window. So grab 
all kinds of window cleans and have fun decorating my crafty friends and here's what the candles look like now I decided since I was making this video to do my Valentine ones that I never got a chance to do here's a quick little preview and here's a wood Easter tray that I forgot to show that I just mod paused on so now we're going to take a Dollar Tree picture frame and we're going to put this blue cardstock inside and I'm going to show you how you can make a cute little home decor using the window clings instead of spending tons of money at Hobby Lobby and everywhere these window clings only bought two cents two sets and I did all these DIYs and I still have tons more that I can use for many more DIYs And I bet you, right now, they're on clearance, but Valentine's is over. So check out your window cleans on Amazon. I picked out this set because I like the birds. And then I got another set that was like with sweet treats because I do sweet treats for Valentine's. And this had like different signs. That round one's really cute. If I would have had a round wood cut out from Dollar Tree, I would have designed that. That would have been cute to display on your door. And I'm looking at that. Super cute and adorable. And cost you pennies. Oh, a dollar twenty-five frame, and now we're gonna make some matching plates from Dollar Tree that I bought this year. I've been wanting to do, and now that I'm doing this video, redoing it with the voiceover, I decided I'm gonna go craft. So my whole Valentine's thing, if you saw in the beginning, is like sweet treats. And I have a whole bunch of videos on making fake bakes out of clay in plaster of Paris. So check it out in my description box below. I will add it. The links. I'm really loving that round one and there's a couple there's another one that says love it's long the farmhouse is super cute so I can make so many more DIYs next year with these So yes, my Valentine's decor is like sweet treats, cupcakes, super cute little candy thing. I haven't got the chance yet to make like fake bake cupcakes and all, but eventually I'll get to it. But I do good. I did many different types of lollipops chocolate candies
I did do a giant plaster of Paris cupcake for a table centerpiece. God, I can't even remember what all I did have done. So check out my videos. I'm trying decorating with Wendy Queens is so fun. The hardest part is making the decision of which to add to it. This is definitely going to be my go-to for doing DIYs. I'm going to check out on Amazon what they have for the spring decor. Once I'm done recording this video, because I'm curious what else they have now. What else I can make. Now imagine how much something like this will cost you in the store. Now we're going to do a vase. I've had this cute little bear vase for a very long time. And I have these couple little heart valentine picks from Dollar Tree. I'm not going to do anything fancy. I'm just going to add these little hearts in here. And then we're just going to decorate this little jar. Just showing you another idea that you can just decorate a cute little vase. But stay tuned because I have a bonus at the end that I decide at the last minute. And I absolutely love it. So I'm just going to take this little love worm. That's super adorable and put it on this vase. Temporarily, you will see. On my bonus. So now we're going to do some coffee cups from Dollar Tree. So I have two coffee mugs here. And again, clean them off with our vinegar, our vinegar, our alcohol, our rubbing alcohol. And again, the hard part is deciding what all you're going to put on. There's so many decisions. This video is actually a lot longer. I had to cut out a lot because I kept changing my mind. I just couldn't make up my mind. And one good thing is this isn't permanent unless you make it permanent. You can swipe them out constantly. You can get yourself one of them little bifold folders from Dollar Tree. You know, like you put your coupons or something in. Something like that. One of them little bifold things and Put your window clings in and just each tab put what it is. The Valentine's, the Easter, 4th of July, summer, spring. And just keep it in upstairs in your drawer and swap it out whenever you want to change your decor. It's also be cute for little wooden cutouts for tear trays to add to. I have so many things going through my head. So now we're going to do some Dollar Tree candles again. 
but of course in our Valentine's, because like I said, I didn't get a chance to do bit much of Valentine's this year, because I just got back into YouTube. Which I think I'm actually still going to add my Valentine's in here because, you know, it don't have to be for Valentine's. It could be for a romantic night for your anniversary, you know, anything. For them to make a beautiful candlelight dinner. Here, I'm adding these on. I thought these birds were really cute, and they are, but I'm gonna use them for something else. I didn't care for it on these candles. So, if you know, if you follow me, you know, I change my mind all the time. So. And they had this really pretty base with flowers in it. I thought it was super pretty. Put on these candles. And that's what they look like. And now we're going to move to the next one. We're going to use a wooden side for the Dollar Tree. And in this pack has these adorable little owls. So that's what we're going to use. And we're just going to take... I just used my dishwasher safe Mod Pods because that's what I had with me. But you can use regular Mod Pods when it comes to wood. Or Elmer's glue, it's up to you. And I'm just going to coat the back of this window clean with a thin layer. Add to my cute little wooden sign from Dollar Tree. That's why I make sure my poor window clean is straight. And then give it another quick coat of the Mod Podge to seal all the edges. Then take my exacto knife because a couple little pieces are a little too long. Then we'll cut them off. Isn't this adorable? That's like super cute for spring. At least they look like owls to me. Then I'm going to take some um, <clears throat> chalk baby wipe and some white chalk paint. And this is a quick little way to do a whitewash on the wood to make it look a little bit better. You're not totally painting it white, but you're still having the wood see through. So you just dab a little bit in your paint and wipe it on. Then wipe off what you don't want. And I apologize, I went out of frame there. But look how cute that looks. Cute little white wires. Matches the background. Now we're going to make some Valentine's coasters. To go with our sweet treat theme. 
So I got four coasters here, and as I said before, I got these in a huge pack for like five dollars. I swear it was Home Depot. And here's the hardest part for me it was really figuring out how to decorate these. I knew I was going to use these two window cleans of the um, macaroons. I wish it came with like more cupcakes. I think next year I'm gonna look for more different types of Valentine cupcakes and all to go with my little sweet treat thing. These two were the hardest to decide to decorate. And these are just different types of cookies and dessert. So figure your layout first. And again, like I said, it was the whole point of making the decisions. The options was unbelievable. And I'm making this permanent with the dishwasher safe mod pods. And why am I doing that? Because they are coasters and you'll be sitting your drinks on them. And I want them waterproof and I don't want my window cleans coming off. So you're going to sit here and watch me go back and forth trying to figure out my design. So I'm completely happy. And then I will add the Mod Pies and all to it and seal it. So I'm just adding a couple little hearts here. Those were more like the cookie ones, so then I decided just to stick with those ones. And I think these are all super adorable. And yes, I know I'm going to do this backwards. But that's okay. So I'm grabbing my corkboard backings. And my little rubber door stoppers and I'm going to add them to my cork boards and place them on the back of my coasters 
and again Dollar Tree does sell cork board and they do sell like little rubber backings these are I call them door stoppers but they're cabinet stoppers they're for your cabinet doors you don't even have to add them I'm just going extra because I have glass furniture <clears throat> So I'm going to continue adding these cork boards onto the back of these cursors and then we'll move on to the next DIY. This took me no time to make all this. Imagine if we did craft shavers. Mm. Oh, nope, we're done. Here's the final reveal with the bonus on it. I'm sorry, I thought there was more. But there is one more, because I decided something at the last minute. Now remember how we took that little bear right there and put that love word on that little vase? Well, we're going to use that love word in another way. And you'll see that coming up. We made a lighted wine bottle. So here's my wine bottle with my lights in it. And I'm actually doing this holding the camera and I stuck the love word on it and I actually love this I think this is really beautiful I'm actually gonna have to make some more wine bottles and just moving things around trying to rearrange this so you guys can see so tell me what you think. I think the candles are adorable. I think everything turned out so god darn cute. Imagine how much you would have paid. And this all came from the Dollar Tree. Just some little window planes off of Amazon that I probably paid $10 for. So I hope you enjoyed this video. Thank you for watching. Please like and subscribe. It really helped me out on YouTube, so give me a thumbs up. And comment. Let me know which one was your favorite. I love that little owl. So cute. Do you like this content? I love everything. I can't help it. It turned out all so pretty. Just what I imagined. Watch my Valentine's Bake Base to go with the sweet treat themes. I will add the links below. Thank you for watching. God bless. Please like, subscribe, and share.